So what's up everyone? Good morning. I'm joined today with Muggles as we are all the way out in Chiba. Uh, we got tired of Tokyo, so uh, we're taking a little road trip today and uh, we're gonna go find out the best hard offs, book offs, recycle shops and all the cool stuff that we can find. It's a hot day. Muggles is literally melting. He's I don't like the heat. almost a puddle at this point. It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe he's still alive. Me, I'm from the Caribbean. I thrive in the heat. I'm in my element right now. Cause I'm an island boy. We're walking up to the first book off that we can find. It's a book off super bazaar. And uh, let's see what we can find inside there. All right, so let's uh, start with the Super Famicom since they got like a giant wall of it. Samurai Spirits. Always a fun one. Oh! Super Famicom. Samurai Spirits. I had this one growing up. Super Wagyan Land for the Super Nintendo. This one's fun. I used to always get stuck with the puzzles, but I guess I'm okay right now. SimCity 2000. That is a fun looking box. Uh, 900 yen, not bad. And we got the family Famicom in these nice little baskets. Ooh, they got Gradius, 2300. We've got Tag Team Pro Wrestling. This one is really fun. I love these like small uh, Namcot boxes. These are always really cool to look at. I found this one in the box. I always see it lying around. But for 1500, it's always in like a 100 yen bin. Dr. Mario. Love me some Dr. Mario. We got the original 5000 yen for uh, Rockman 5. Oh, they got a cleaning robot. Whoa, they got cleaning robot. <laughs> All right, then we got N64 games. This one, I remember, no, I don't know what this is. It's this Custom Robo uh, V2. No idea, but it, it the box is like pristine. So it caught my attention. Then we got, we got some Mario Parties. Mario Party 3, Mario Party 2. While this robot clean, just kind of... I think he wants to clean where we are. I think he wants so. to clean. Bro, let me go look at games, man. Wait, wait, wait this robot then we got ocarina of time with a really crappy box but cool dragon ball for the game boy advance that game is like really good on the famicom pokemon pinball for 480 i'm tempted i still need that but i might hold off till i find one in the box and super bomberman 64. so i figured out which bomberman game i was looking at like the one in japan it's called bomberman heroes Also, Super Famicom up there, R-Type, uh, 4300, legendary Super Famicom game. Love it. Chippendale's Rescue Rangers on the Famicom. Wow, never seen that in Japan. Of course it exists. What, 38,000 yen. Oh man, let's see what else this hard off has. Because that's just like a selection of games. Ooh, they got the Pikachu Orange N64. 30,800, that's a bit much. <laughs> a bit much, got a twin Famicom for 12,100. A fa Super Famicom Junior in Japan. I've, I, I've, I've, I, I rarely come across these. Man, a Super Famicom Junior. That's really cool. In the box for 18,000. We found a PC Engine. It has a little butt video extension. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that is. I'll look that up later and a uh, Turbo Duo, 18,000. That's cool. All right, so it's, it's summer and that means that 7-Eleven has these smoothies. They just have like frozen fruit in a little cup and you put it in the machine. I'm gonna get the green one. It has uh, greens and pineapple and then you just get like a fruit and vegetable smoothie and then it's really good because it's hot up. All right, second destination. We found a hard off uh, a couple stations away. We took a little train and uh, here it is. It's an off house, hobby, off, uh, book off, hard off, every off. It's all, it's all off in the, in the same store. 
You excited, Mo? Dude, we're, we're going, going off. We popping off. Let's, let's, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Ooh, right off the bat, I see a Vectrex. Look at that. 129,000. But they do have, did Japan have a Vectrex or is it just like, I guess it doesn't matter. That's cool. What is this? The Zachman. I want Zachman. What is this? 11,000. Really neat. And the ice blue N64 in the box for 27,000. What a cool selection. They got Game Boy Pocket cameras, the Famicom Game Boy Advance SP. Got a little Game Boy printer. We've got the cherry red N64. We got the blue N64. They've got all these top loaders at different prices. 12,000, 13,000, yeah. All working. This isn't even the junk section. Ooh, they've got the tower on Game Boy Advance. The tower SP, that's, that's a fun one. 1650, Oracle of uh, Seasons or Ages. Pac-Land and Pac-Man on the Famicom. I didn't know those were pricey. What is this? Uh, Dead Do Fox. The, the dead fox on the Famicom. Got a nice. Ooh, they got consoles here. GameCube, Game Boy Player, and then they've got the Hello Kitty Dreamcast. Forty-nine thousand. That's a lot, but they do have it. The, the Hello Kitty Dreamcast. This one's really cool. And then we got a wall of Super Famicom and N64 games. Let's dive right in. This one's cool. This is apparently. According to Gaming the Systems, yes, I do watch other YouTubers. This is apparently a uh, really good version of Tetris. And going up to the Super Famicom, Seiken Nensetsu 3, Secret of Mana 2. Um, Mickey's Magical Quest, 3300, had this game before. Prefer these on the, the Genesis Mega Drive. Got weird cover Mahjong game. <laughs> And uh, what is this? Shining Scorpion. Little top-down RC racing game. We've got the OG Super Mario uh, Brothers for 800 yen. I am tempted. I'm definitely tempted. And I love how Namco did all their games like that. We got a Mahjong game, a baseball game, uh, but they all have like these, uh, you know, these hardcover cases that are really, really cool. Wish, wish the NES had that back home. Binary Land. Um, don't see this one too often. Hudson Soft, fun game. All the way in the corner, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, I guess. This was, a, apparently this is by Square Enix in Japan. I didn't know that, they, they probably published it. And the Wizardry, the old school Wizardry, you have, People have no idea how big this franchise in Japan. All of the Wizardry games, uh, they all fetch a pretty penny. Really nice little section of the heart of. Let's see if they have a junk section. All right, we found it. We're in the uh, junk section. Let's see if we can find some games and consoles that we can take apart and repair. They've got uh, more CRT monitors. I love that these are making a comeback. Unfortunate on the price, like this is just way too much for what is essentially a completely uh, unusable CRT, but this is pretty good. A big, uh, a big old Funai uh, CRT monitor. This is like 11,000 yen, but it has a DVD player and a VHS. If that's like something you're looking for, this is like a perfect little combination, isn't it? And we've got some Imagineer software all the way in the back. For 4,400 Might and Magic. The Mandate of Heaven. The Mandate of Heaven. Windows 95, 98, really cool. Now we've got the usual stack of Super Famicoms. How, how much are these going for? 500, not bad. That's a Mark III, that's the OG Sega. Yeah. This is actually really cool. Yeah. Thanks for showing me. This is amazing. Sega Mark III, 16,000, that's a lot. Junk, so untested, not working. But uh, look at this junk section, man, really cool. Some really blitzy looking Famicoms for 800 yen. This is not terrible. It just doesn't come with any connectors, so that's probably why. 2750 for a Famicom in the box, not bad. Not 500 yen, but not bad. We've got some 
twin Famicoms for 5,500 in various different conditions. This one's 8,800. I'm tempted. At some point, I'm gonna get one of these and at least attempt to repair it. They're such a nice uh, console. You can definitely mod these and, and, or at least fix them to get them to work, right? They just list them as junk because they do need uh, a lot of repair. Uh, I wonder what's broken on it. I would need to do a lot of research to get these, but for 5,000, I'm definitely tempted. Comes with the charger and everything, right? This is a family computer network system in the box. 4,400, almost didn't notice this. This is really cool. The foam is a bit messed up, but you know, this is that whole thing. I mean, it's a completely useless accessory in 2023. Uh, unless someone put up some kind of server for it, but damn, that's cool to find it in the box. All right, thank you guys for watching. That was part one. Uh, I'll make a multi-part series out of this because it, it's there's just too much of it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.